So the fourth and final angle pair that we're going to talk about are called consecutive interior angles. And these are, uh, two angles are consecutive interior angles if they lie between the lines and on the same side of the transversal. So just like alternate interior angles, we're talking about the space between uh, the two lines, but this time they're on the same side of the transversal. So consecutive interior, consecutive here meaning one after the other. So consecutive interior uh, is on the same side of the transversal and on the interior space. So you have this example of consecutive interior and then you could move um, both angles to the other side and you would have a second example of consecutive interior angles. Um, consecutive interior angles are sometimes said to make a U uh, so or a C depending on how you look at it but if you look at that it's sort of a weird letter U so you may want to write down uh, C uh, or U next to your definition so you know to look for that when you're looking for consecutive interior angles. Uh, just to note sometimes these angles are called same side interior angles instead of consecutive interior angles but our textbook uses consecutive interior angles and uh, that's what they're going to stick with but you could see a worksheet or something that says same side interior angles and you would know that means the same thing now as consecutive interior angles